Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show how to create a very nice home page using HTML and CSS. So this is what we're going to be creating. It's a home page for a portfolio of a web designer and developer, as you can see, John Doe. I have created this logo, a nice navbar right here with this hover effect, uh, a title, the name, John Doe, web designer and developer, some text, and the button, and we have a little hover effect, and we have this really cool image right here. I'm going to be, be providing um, the images, meaning this logo and this one right here in the description below. So uh, grab those uh, from there and uh, code along with me. If you want to see more of these types of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the bell notification icon and select all so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. With that being said, let's get started. So I have an empty folder here on my desktop as you can see, and I opened it with my text editor, which in my case is Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create an index.html file, a style.css, and uh, a folder called images. Now, I'm going to grab these and paste them right here. Okay. Let's start with the markup. So go to the index.html. I'm going to create a basic structure and uh, change the title to John Doe, a vertical line web designer and uh, web developer. And I'm going to link the uh, my CSS style sheet. So link style.css. And uh, let's create the markup. I'm going to create a, a nav tag, a nav element, and give it an ID of navbar. Inside here, I'm going to create a div with a class of container. Inside the container, I'm going to place another div with a class of logo. And inside this logo div, I'm going to place my um, image, the logo for the developer. So, img. For the source, go to images, logo.png. For the alt, let's say JD logo. Okay, okay. go below this div. I'm going to create a, a navigation items. So uh, create a, an unordered list. So UL. Inside here, LI. Inside the LI, an A element. And uh, let's say, let's copy this uh, six times in total. Four, five, six. Say home about services projects um, testimonials and contact. Okay. And now go below the nav tag and create a, a header element with an ID of showcase and inside the header place a div with a class of container inside the container another div with a class of showcase dash content and in here place an h1 element and say John Doe below an h2 and say uh, web designer and developer Below here, I'm going to put a, a P element, and I'm going to say lorem20. Let me text wrap this. And uh, below the P, I'm going to create an A element, and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to give it a class of BTN, and I'm going to say find out more. And below the this uh, showcase content div, I'm going to create another div with a class of empty and leave it, uh, leave it like this. And that is all for the markup. Let's open it in the browser. I'm using Google Chrome, as you can see. Uh, now we need to turn this into this. So for that, let's go to the style.css and uh, let's get started. First, I'm going to have to go to uh, fonts.google.com and search for uh, railway click here 
I'm gonna select the the regular one and um, the bold one so embed copy this uh, copy this and uh, place it in the, the style sheet and below this first I'm gonna give it some general styling so select everything with the asterisk and I'm gonna give it margin 0 padding 0 box sizing set it to border box for the HTML I'm gonna change the font size to 10 pixels and for the body font family railway and sans serif a background URL and give that background image so home background.png background repeat no repeat okay let's take a look okay so far so good now let's create the container class so container container and give it a max width of uh, 1100 pixels margin 0 auto padding uh, 0 3 rem as you can see the content is constrained okay now let's start working on the navigation so select the navbar and uh, I'm gonna give it a margin top of 6 rem okay push it down a bit and now select the container inside the navbar so navbar dot container and uh, set it to display flex align items center justify content space between <clears throat> okay good uh, now let's select the ul so navbar container ul uh, display flex align items center and the list style none to remove the bullet points okay good now select the actual link so the links navbar that container um, ul li a I'm gonna give them a display of inline block a font size of 2.2 RAM text decoration none to remove the underline a color white so FFF a margin left 2.8 RAM a border top 2 pixels solid transparent we need this because we're gonna make that hover effect copy this and change this to border bottom and now I'm gonna give it a give them a padding of uh, 0 0.25 RAM and 0 and give it a transition border 0 0.5 seconds and uh, now let's create uh, the hover effect so navbar that container ul li a column hover and give it a border top 2 pixels solid FFF copy this and change this to border bottom and this should be our navigation let's take a look as you can see we have the nav items right here and if I hover over them we have this alright so far so good now we should move on to the showcase so put a comment showcase and uh, I'm gonna select the showcase and the container the container inside the showcase and give it a display of flex okay now uh, let's select the showcase content so showcase that container that showcase content 
and give it a margin top of 18 rem. Now showcase that container that showcase content h1 uh, give it a font size of 8.4 rem a font weight of 400 and the color use that orange so ff 9 e 44 take a look okay good now let's uh, copy this and change this to h2 and for the h2 i'm going to give it a size of 4.8 rem this time font weight uh, 400 and color 333 good now uh, i should also give it a margin bottom of uh, let's say 2 rem okay good now let's uh, take care of the p so of the paragraph copy the, paste this again and change this to p and uh, i'm going to say font size 2 rem uh, font weight 400 uh, color FFF so white uh, display uh, sorry I messed up a bit here so I'm gonna say I'm gonna delete this and say font size sorry for that uh, 1.8 RAM font weight 400 color 333 opacity 80% uh, with 550 pixels line height 3.8 rem and margin bottom 4 rem okay now it looks uh, like it should and uh, we should uh, give it uh, now we should work on this uh, button right here so uh, paste it again and change this to dot btn and I'm gonna say font size 2 rem font weight 400 color FFF display uh, inline block background give it that uh, orange color so FF 9e44 uh, padding RAM on top and bottom, 5 RAM on the left and right. A border radius set it to 10 pixels. A text decoration none. And transition opacity 0 0.5 seconds. Let's add a hover effect. I'm gonna paste this again. Dot BTN hover. Remove this. And say opacity zero opacity 0 0.8 and that should be it let's take a look okay and now we have our finished project if you enjoyed this make sure to leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i will see you in the next video take care